Hey, what's up everybody? Judd here, and I know I'm kind of late to the party uh, on this whole Jason Aldean thing, and I wasn't even sure if I was going to comment about it or not, but I just couldn't stand not to. Uh, I don't want to jump on here and sound like I'm best friends with Jason, and we run around together and that sort of thing, because that's not the case. Do I know Jason Aldean? Absolutely. Been around him many, many, many times. Uh, I don't know two of the songwriters that wrote Try This in a Small Town. Uh, I do know two of the writers. Very good. And I was uh, not even sure that I was going to put this on social media or, or give my opinion. Because, no, you know, heck, I'm sure nobody really cares what my opinion is. But that's why we got social media. So I can speak my piece and say my opinion. And if you don't like it, you can keep scrolling. It's real simple. That's all you got to do. Just take your thumb and do that and you can move on but all this stuff uh all this controversy around jason and the song and that sort of thing and all the names that he's been called and uh saying that the song is racist and all this kind of stuff well i, I i'm gonna tell you right now like i said i ain't best friends with jason aldean but i know jason pretty well and I don't think for one second, I don't know how you could think for one second out there if you're on the other side of the fence, if you think them four songwriters sat in a room, come up with a song title and said, let's write something racist. Let's get America all in a tizzy again. Let's try our best to ruin Jason Aldean's career by doing something racist. Let's shoot this video. I mean, I've known Sean Silva for, I don't know, 20 years who shot the video? Do you think for one second, I think Sean Silva goes, let's set up right here and see if we can't cause this to look racist. No, I don't believe it. You'll never make me or convince me otherwise that anybody in that camp, I know Jason Aldean's manager, Clarence Baldwin, one of my very best friends, you think for one second they gonna let anybody or, or not even let, I don't even know, that's not even the proper phrasing. You think for one second Jason Aldean and all them guys, a the crew, band, writers, video directors are sitting around going, how in the world can we cause this to just be the most upheaval, uprooting in society right now? Let's do something that's projecting racism. No, it didn't happen, ain't happened. And how you can perceive any type of those words that people use nowadays by listening to that song, it basically just says, hey, we, in a, we live in a small town. We're from a small town. If you come around here, you know, carjacking people and all that, they're repercussions, and they are, you know, whether it's through the police or whatever the case may be. But I do not think for one second that song is promoting violence or anything like that, and I don't think those songwriters ever thought, let's write a song to promote violence. That's what we'll do. We'll write this song, and we'll try to cause chaos. And for that Jason Isbell guy to come out and say, hey, Jason Aldean, I challenge you to write a song by yourself next time. What the hell relevance has that got to do with anything? That's like, I, I don't, I can't even do an analogy on that. Jason Aldean ain't got to write songs by himself. You know why? Because the best damn songwriters in the world are sitting there 15, 20 minutes from his house. So he can go out and play in the pool, ride around on his jet ski, while people like Neil Thrasher, Kelly Loveless, and other people write him great songs. Somebody come out and say, oh, write your own song. Do it by yourself. That don't even make no sense. More, more power to Jason Isbell. He writes all of his stuff, and that's great. I guess he writes it all. I don't know. Don't know him. Ain't got nothing against him. But I thought that analogy of calling him out on it saying, hey, write your own song next time I challenge you. For what? He got the best songwriters in the world. Call up George Strait and tell him to write a few of his. He don't. And he ain't. I bet George Strait ain't wrote three songs on his records. May be wrong, but I'm thinking that's about right. Why should he? When he's got all these great songwriters, Dean Dillon's wrote 95% of them. So why's George got to write them? Whew, my blood pressure's up. My chest is tight. Just want to throw that out there. Just my opinion. Bring it on. I'm sure I'll get chewed out, cussed out. And there may be a few pull for me. Uh, but, hey. I thank the world, Jason Aldean. I think it's a pretty good song. Just my opinion. Ought to be yours. I love all of you anyway. See you.